Good afternoon, this is Fadi Hemzi from a floor of CME group in Chicago. Uh, I'm a founder of Hemzi Analytics. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about the impact of option expiration and how it interferes or works with S&P futures, both ES and SP. And uh, the, this week we traded, uh, well including starting late last week and this week, we traded JPM, JP, JPM which is a JPM Morgan Chase, we traded uh, Goldman Sachs, G GS, we traded Apple Inc, uh, AP AAPL, we traded, uh, today we're in uh, Google and ISRG, my two favorite stocks. And the reason that's important, because this is a January expiration, and, um, and then comes the Friday actual expiration where the uh, uh, indices like SPX, which are, or Russell 2000, which are, um, they are a uh, European style expiration. They go off the board, if you will, at the open tomorrow. So it's very critical to look at what kind of a open interest we have uh, in the, uh, the SPX uh, uh, options, because that often dictates how the futures trade. Uh, as an off the floor trader, I use that data with my traders through our chat room to trade the, let's say the first hour into the open. So it's like 7.30, to 8.30 Chicago time tomorrow will be dictated by these numbers. Looking tonight at the uh, uh, data from uh, uh, OCC, it shows that uh, there's a huge open interest in 1275s. Uh, that's a 1275.00 uh, strike on a SPX January options. Now, if you go into um, see how uh, S&P closed today, it closed at 1280 on a cash basis. So there's a five-point spread that uh, we're expecting to uh, see tomorrow morning in the open. Uh, that's the pressure I see in the ES tomorrow. Again, thank you again for your attention. This is Fahri Hamzi from the floor of CME Group.